So introduce yourself. Uh, give us your name, your age, and what you do for a living. My name is Joe Powell. I am 45 years old, and I am a maintenance mechanic by trade. All right, cool. And what is your current relationship status? I am single. I have been divorced for 14 years. Okay. Okay. Do you have children? I do. 21, 9, and 3. Okay. Okay. Do you want children in the future? Uh... I, I I can't say no. Um, I feel like the circumstances will have to, you know, fit a certain box, so to speak. But uh, I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm 45, so you know how that is. Uh, I don't know how. I don't know if I want to be 70 years old walking across the graduation stage to, to meet my child. But you know, it is what it is. Totally understand, man. I'm just asking because, you know, I've, I've had kids later in life, so you just never know. You right. Might, might meet somebody that's 35. Who knows? <laughs> that's, it's, that's more likely than not, honestly. So, yeah, I get it. For sure. So why did your last relationship end? The last relationship um, was more of a started out as a, a long distance thing. Um you know, somebody I met through social media um, just never got the right footing, I guess is the word I'll use. Um, became friends really fast. Um, but I, I think that we were, we came from completely different places um, as far as how we were, our upbringing and how we were raised and even some of the things we were exposed to. Um, I learned a lot from this person, but, um, all in all, we just, we never got on the same page, um, dated more through communication for the first two years, maybe. And, um, you know, once we got to a place to where, um, we kind of brought it to a personal space, um, I, I think we had already let too much time pass and, uh, we just, it just never got right. Okay. Understandable. So what's a deal breaker for you? Poor communication. Okay. How do you handle difficult situations? Nowadays, I'm a lot more patient with it. Um, I think a younger me was uh, prone to pulling everything inside, um, especially if it was a situation where the communication was already kind of off, uh, you know, just kind of go into yourself and, and not talk about it. And that definitely doesn't help. But um, I think now I, I want to talk about it. You know, if it can be ironed out with the, uh, communication that's always the best way. I think the more time you let come in between um, whatever disrupts the communication and trying to fix it, it becomes harder to fix. I hear you. So why do you want to be married? Two parts to that. Um, I think that's what I've always seen modeled in front of me. You know, so it's, it's kind of a, a subconscious thing um but secondly I, I i feel like that's a design you know i i think that um god created us to be in partnership um everything about his creation is, as far as man and woman was geared more towards interdependence um versus independence i, I think we're supposed to be able to be self-sufficient but i think there's always supposed to be that, um, you know, you start with the family, you start with the man and the woman, and then you, you build a family, and then there's community, there's churches. I think everything that we do in life was meant to, we're supposed to support and be supported. Um, so I just feel like it's more of a natural thing. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. That's good. Okay, so I have three more questions for you. We're going to go a little deep, Joel. You ready? Let's go. <laughs> when you were scared, sad, angry, or overwhelmed, who, if anyone, did you go to for comfort as a child? I, I think that's why I learned uh, to go into my shell. Um, I always felt a little bit indifferent growing up. Uh, I saw things differently. I thought differently. Um, and that wasn't always, I, mean, I don't want to say it was frowned upon, but it wasn't really accepted, you know, uh, especially growing up in some households in the South. You know, there's a very stern way of um, not being open-minded to, to certain aspects of life. Um, you know, people see things one way and that's the way they teach it and that's the way they expect it to be. And, you know, there's only so many times you're going to bump your head up against the brick wall before you start just keeping things to yourself. So um, I think I got to a, a place where I just learned to either deal with it myself or just bury it. Mm -hmm. That's good. Are you a spender or a saver? I'm, I fall somewhere in the middle. You know, uh, I feel like in some areas I'm, I'm a cheapskate. Uh, I, I hold my money tight. But uh, I'll also say that saving has never really been my my strong suit. Um, that's probably one of the reasons why I feel like I need a wife. Because in, in my opinion, I have found that, or in my experience, I should say, um, women are, are better at, at saving and putting money where it needs to go. Now, I can make it. I'm just not great at managing it. And, uh, you know, that's, that's something that I had to learn to be honest with myself with. Mm -hmm. What did you learn about relationships from watching your caregivers? <laughs> that it takes two. Um, you know, I, I know that my parents had some difficult times. And one thing I, I never seen from them was... Um, not to say that they didn't have arguments or disagreements, but I feel like they always found a way to um, work those things out between the two of them. Um, and, you know, it was, was never a, I never heard them shout at each other. Um, you know, I, I never saw the discontent between the two of them, even though I know they had it. Um, you know, so I, I think the biggest thing I learned from them was what I'm saying now is that communication is the key. You know, if you got somebody that you can communicate with, it's uh, it's a lot easier to make it through those rough patches. I hear you. So, if your DMs are open, how can someone connect with you? Man, I've had a bad experience with the with, with social media and, and DMs. Um, I don't. I don't mind it. I'm, I'm one of the one of few guys that I know who um, I don't go searching. You know, um, I don't jump in, in in women's DMs. I just feel like that's a uh, it's a kind of a it's a fifty fifty thing. You know, uh, you have to be prepared for what you get. So I just that's water that I don't play in. Um, I've, my DMs have always been open and. Sometimes that's a good thing and sometimes it's not, you know, because what I found out is that um, women will attach themselves to you before you know you're actually attached because I feel like I'm a, I'm a good listener. Um, I'm, I'm pretty open as far as the, the topics that I'm willing to discuss and, you know, that comfortability that, that women find and those types of and that type of communication a lot of times uh sends mixed signals. So um I think that as long as the intent has been made and it's agreeable between two people, you know, it is what it is. But um you know I I like to, to kind of be um 
you have to set boundaries up front, I guess. And that's something that I, I had to learn the hard way. Mm-hmm. So if if someone, uh, so would you say Twitter's maybe or X, I guess that's what they call it. If someone right. So as far as social media is concerned, I, I have Facebook, I have Instagram. Um, they're pretty much dormant. I don't frequent Facebook really at all. I, I rarely ever open Facebook. Um, Instagram is more of a you know I have a group of friends and acquaintances that you know we share news and videos and you know something that's funny back and forth. I rarely publish anything on my. Instagram page. Um, Twitter has become kind of my go-to in the last several months, I guess. Um, it seems a little more open than some of the other platforms. So, uh, yeah, if somebody was going to reach out to me as far as the DM, it would be through Twitter right now. Okay. All right. Well, everyone, you heard it here. So, ladies, if you are interested in Joel, make sure that you, uh, if you're on Twitter or X, make sure to connect with him there. That's my favorite platform as well. I love uh, social media. I love uh, Twitter. That's how I actually met you. So, right, right. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, thanks again, Joel.